Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about my mining strategy. See, we're currently looking to just reuse what we have. We have some additional motherboards as well as we have some additional power supplies. I'm just trying to finish up one mining rig. So I've been looking at this one graphic card and trying to buy it, trying to find where I could possibly source it from and even getting creative to do it. I was shocked by the prices. I thought graphic card prices were high before, but wow, they seem to go be going to the moon. Is it the buying pressure because of Christmas? It doesn't seem to make sense to me. I started looking at the mining revenue, doing comparisons of how long it will take for this car to even ROI, and the numbers just didn't seem to justify it to me. So I can't imagine miners be actively buying at these prices. So who's buying it? Are you still buying graphic cards? Are you expanding your mining farm? I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'm gonna go through and show you some of my observations on finding this one of the graphic card and the shocking discovery of how long it would actually take to ROI on it and some of my observations. So stick with me, let's get started. Don't forget to press down on that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm trying to complete one of my mining rigs. So I've been looking actively for an Asus Tough, an RTX 3080. It's a full hash rate card. I know I'm gonna pay a premium because number one, it's a full hash rate card. Kind of almost, they don't exist anymore. For lack of a better word, you don't find them in the primary market. When they were selling, I see places like, I can last see a MSRP was selling a little over $1,000, $1,029 on Microcenter. But these have long since been gone. It's been many, many months since you've seen any of the full hash uh, 3080 cards on the market. Just to get an idea of what they're going on in the reseller market, when I turn to sites like StockX, I'm seeing this full hash 3080. The card is going for between $2,200 and $2,400. The last one sold was 2150 These numbers look absolutely insane to me. They don't make any sense. Just... $2,400, $2,200 for an RTX 3080 full hash card. You know, the mining revenue numbers just don't seem to be there to support it. Just double checking sites too, like eBay, who's probably even higher or worse. Here's a full hash 3080. It's open box, $2,399. I mean, that's a crazy number. Looking at Amazon, I see pretty much the same thing. There's only one left in stock from this one, but I can get it with an HDMI cable. 2649, where do these numbers come from and who's paying it? I don't see the miners actively paying it. It would be a pretty big leap, I would think, for a gamer to spend $2,650 this on Amazon. These numbers seem quite insane to me. When I turn to sites like what to mine and I click in on one RTX 3080 card, I have my primary algorithm selected I'm gonna be interested in. Let me just calculate this. And it's telling me that this card will make $6.01 a day. Actually, it's a little bit low, so it's only showing me 91, but let's say if I get even a full 100 mega hash out of it for about 240 watts. It's telling me this card will make $6.57 a day. This is before electric, but $5.99 it's going to be my cost of this after the electricity. My profits are lower. I know I've seen profitability this week because Bitcoin and price as well as Ethereum and other coins are down at the moment, but still within 15%. When I open up a calculator, if it was $2,400 divided by 5.99 cents, it's going to take 400 days to ROI on this card. And that's just the card alone, not including if I had to do a mining rig, I have GPU rises, more power supplies. Just the card alone is going to be 400 days. Just divide that by 30 days. It's 13 and a half months. So it wouldn't be until January of 2023 before this card would ROI. Where are these GP prices coming in? I don't know. These numbers seem absolutely insane. When I look at some of the other altcoins I have to possibly mine too, I see them even coming in lower, like almost $1.80 lower. Let's look at like Conflux selling me $3.27 a day, or even Ravencoin would be $2.72 a day after electric. My big concern though is, is now what's going to happen when Ethereum turns to proof of stake? Many people ask me that. I'm going to blatantly say, I do not know at this point. I just know I want to make strategic investments in what I'm doing for my personal equipment. I want to be ROI everything before next summer. That's my personal target. Maybe hopefully Ethereum goes even longer and hopefully we can keep mining it forever. I would love that. But until then, I have to go by the knowledge I have available. And some of the news I'm reading is saying by mid uh, summertime of 2022 would be the time that it has potential. But if I'm left to only mine some of these other coins at even reduced revenue, it's not just going to be me who's going to be mining them. There's going to be a lot of other miners who are also GPU mining on coins like Ethereum. And they're gonna also be switching their hash power from Ethereum over to maybe 
Conflux or Ergo or Raven coin. And that's going to make the difficulty on those coins, I believe, go sky high. I don't know if the revenue is going to be there to support it. Is our revenue going to get chopped down even further because the difficulty is going up? I don't know. I'd love to know your thoughts if anyone has any great insight on this. These are the big magical questions. I wish I had a crystal ball and I could just find out what that was and I'd share it with you if I did. These numbers for GP prices, they don't seem justifiable. $2,400, even, you know, $2,200 for a full hash 3080. These numbers seem insane. We were looking though too even at some of the light hash rate cards, 3080 uh, LHR, just in StockX. I'm seeing $1,599, $1,795. Wow. So even if I take a card like for the win three, one sixteen ninety three, full hash rate 3080, at that price, let's go back to what's of mine, 3080 light hash rate. There we go. Let me just calculate it. Ethereum is going to make $4 a day about after electric costs. Even if you follow our T-Rex and NB minor LHR unlocking guys, I'll show you how to get probably about 74 to 75. But let's just say if we were at 74 mega hash on Ethereum, let's recalculate it. Okay, so $4.29 a day. And if I look, this card is $16.93. 1750 with tax. And I'm going to be dividing that by my what to mine revenue is 429. So I'll divide that by $4.29. Wow, it's the same thing. I mean, 400 plus days to ROI. I'm just sharing with you that my observations in the market is that GPU prices are at a premium. And I don't see it getting easier anytime soon, especially because we're heading into this is the Christmas to holiday time of the year. And there's going to be a lot of other people just buying just because they have to get that gift. They don't really have the ability to wait. I don't see the revenue there to really support these values. It would take me well into early 2023 just to ROI based on the current revenue numbers. Mind you, these numbers change often. Currently, my mining revenue is down about 15% since Bitcoin's been going down this week, as well as Ethereum and other coins. I'd love to know your thoughts. My direction right now is I'm just trying to strategically use what I have and make smart buying decisions. Have I ever bought a card at a high price? Yes. I bought a RTX 3080, a full hash card in the past once before. I bought it on Amazon. I paid $1,600 for it but it's a RTX 3080, it's a full hash card. So I bought that back in May. So I've had so May to June to July to August, September, October, November, December. I've already been mining on that card full time for seven months. So I've already recovered a big chunk of that by mining it already by this time. We don't know if time is really on our side. I'm personally trying to get my cards and my equipment ROI before next summer. Hopefully Ethereum mining goes on forever or at least a long time or maybe some other coin steps up that we'll be able to mine. I'm just trying to be conservative. I'm sharing my thoughts with you. I'd love to know your thoughts on what your direction is. If you are going to be looking to buy some GPUs and just make smart choices, do your research on them. We've made a graphic card buying guide probably about a month and a half ago and has a lot of great tips on how I was able to buy graphic cards through this year at MSRP or within a reasonable couple of hundred dollars. Nothing like you're seeing on these crazy StockX or eBay prices or even Amazon for that matter. I'm just trying to share with you how I was able to get cards that I felt were a good value. Again, do your own research on it. I hope it helps you and love to know what you're doing. Are you expanding your farms? Are you going to be growing? And what is your take on everything? I wish we had the crystal ball to it all, but I just want to share my observations on what I'm seeing in graphic card prices and just be cautious of what you buy to make sure that at least it's going to hit your objectives. Just do the research. I want to show you how I normally calculate it or look at it. And hopefully this helps you. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, like smash down on that subscribe button if you haven't already. As always, we welcome all your questions and comments. Please put them down below. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Happy mining!